Nice hoodie, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Nice t-shirt. Appreciate it, bro. Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back with another performance review. And for those who have not read the title just yet, today we're taking a look at the Nike LeBron 17s. <laughs> Let's get it. First and foremost, massive shout out to the plug, AKA Pro Direct Basketball, if you would like your pair of the LeBron 17s and many beautiful colors. Many. Click the link in the description box below to the Pro Direct Basketball website where they will take care of you. But of course, before you do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video, show your support to your boys. Comment down below what your thoughts are on the LeBron 17 and which colorway you might have if you do. Yeah. And of course, hit that beautiful red button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. You should already know, but for those of you that don't, LeBron James is currently in his 17th season in the NBA. That is ridiculous. Nah. What's even more ridiculous is the dude shows no signs of slowing down whatsoever. And his shoe, the Nike LeBron 17, is a reflection of just that. It shows no signs of slowing down. No Arguably, his best shoe in the collection. Chill out, chill out. And we'll get into why. The beginning of the video, bro. Chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Starting things off with the materials. Now here in the LeBron 17, it's knit posit. What is knit posit? Fly knit and foam posit combined to create a shoe which is Super, super structured without sacrificing weight or flexibility. Please. If I'm honest, it sacrifices breathability. Yeah, it, it has. It just kind of has to. More so in the heel. heel. More so in the heel. Being that the shoe is kind of broken up a little bit. Yep. In the forefoot, we've kind of got that plush fly knit we've grown to love. Seen in like the LeBron 16 and the 15 as well. Yep. But then over in the back is where we have that nip posit. Yep. And that's where it gets really structured where you need it, which is perfect. In the tongue, we've got some levers, some synthetics, and switch between colorways. They're pretty yep. straightforward. It's 3M as well. Yep. So the shoe really hugs the foot amazingly well thanks to those materials. However, it's just really, really hot. Yeah. It's gonna be. Yeah. There's, it's not breathing. Your foot is, in a way, suffocated, but it's like a cozy suffocation. Yeah. If that makes sense. And then the forefoot provides some ventilation. Some, but not a lot. Not a lot. So it's not it's a 10 out of 10. It's not a 10 out of 10. It's a nine out of 10. It's a nine out of 10. So it's pretty strong. Yeah. Overall, the materials, Bang. Bang. I'm very happy with Nipposit, by the way. Very. I, welcome to the family of welcome. Nike Materials. Hope you hope to see you again. Yes. We hope to see you every year. Please. We hope to see you more than just the LeBron shoes. Kyrie might need them. That's all I'm going to say. He said it now. We're going to move on. Now, our next favorite thing is the cushioning. Now, Nike has been extremely cheeky, and I love it when Nike gets cheeky with the cushioning because we actually have the largest Air Max unit implemented to date to me, Ooh. to date. And they've also given us not just one, no. but two Zoom pods in the forefoot. Yeah, hold that, hold that, my G. Hold that, bro. Appreciate it. Although Courtfield is lacking, mm. Kind but everything else is heightened to the max, bro. Wow. It is cozy, response is crazy, mad. impact protection is mad. And I mean, it's absolutely, I don't think I've felt a cushioning system that, that has this much volume. Yes, volume, it's all going on. This like, is it a is lot. going on. You feel like you're on clouds, bro. Facts. Literally. Facts. And that Air Max unit in the back, mad. you just can't ignore it. Mad. It might even add a couple inches to your height too which is always a plus. Which is terrible timing that they've taken shoes out of measurements in the league, which is just great, so. And what also adds to the experience of the cushioning as well is the file-on carrier on the forefoot. I love Nike's attention to detail. Yep. They've made it really soft and it houses the zoom units perfectly. So that all complements the cushioning system just so beautifully. Mad. And it feels amazing. Yeah. Flipping amazing. You have to try these on. These are a must. Yeah, this, this is a must try on experience because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all going on. Whether you're copying or not, try and get these on your foot at least. One minimum. time. Minimum. Apart from that, that court feel lacking a little bit, everything else is just A1. A1, perfection. So with all of that being said, the cushion's a nine out of 10. Of course it is. Of course it is. <sighs> this is one hell of a start. This is one hell of a start, bro. Let's move on. Like we're saying, the dude shows no signs of slowing down, and neither does the shoe. 
Nice pullback. That's a nice right, step back. Bring that back. He's not on this video, bro. Full circle. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, talking about the support. support. It's a big one when we're talking LeBron. It always has been, always will be. It needs to be. Now, we already spoke about how great the materials were and they come through again when we're talking support. The Nip Plus it did its absolute thing. Yeah. You're held in the shoe pretty much throughout. The lacing system is pretty standard, if you will, but did its job really, really well. Yeah. Usual suspects have won as well. We've got the outrigger shape along with a TPU barrier across the lateral side. We actually have a bit more of an extension on the outrigger with the yeah. outsole because the outsole kind of extends a tad bit yeah. and it kind of really helps with the shoe being so high as we mentioned and cushioning and kind of missing that cork feel so that kind of stops you from that kind of rolling action. The outrigger plus these really supportive materials makes it a great experience when we're talking that kind of roll experience. You don't really feel that as high as you are off the ground. So that was amazing, amazing, amazing. Along with everything else, the lateral barrier actually doubles up as an external heel counter, along with the already internal heel counter. So you're taking care when we're talking the heel, yep. along with the materials. So don't worry about the heel, don't worry about it. You're good, yep. everything's good on this side. Taking everything into consideration, the LeBron 17 support, it's so a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. It's so 9 out of 10. And what I love the most, what surprises me the most, is that we have really soft materials yep. and a really great support system. Yep. Like it doesn't make sense. Like you're not supposed to have yeah, that. It's hard. But we it's have it. hard to do. So good for you, LeBron. Good for you. Next up, we have the fit. And this also banged. Oh, mate. True to size. I got a 10. Bought myself a size 10. Obviously. She needs a 12. 15, what size are you again, bro? You know damn well I'm a 12. All right, Timmy has a size, it's out there, and he bought that same <laughs> size, so he's good, right? And we're both good. It's a new thing. Regular, fit, wide, you everything, that, narrow, that, it's that. neutral. You're good. You're okay, good, you're, you're good. good. You're good. It doesn't matter what foot type, you're good. The shoe is beautiful. The materials really conform to your foot nicely, especially with the lacing system. Taking all of that into consideration, it's a nine out of 10, Tim. Come on. Nine out of 10. You look good, right? It's good. actually kind of mad because it's a nine out of 10 across the board, so. So far, oh. it's a bit mad. You yeah, lot can be guessed that. You really guessed that. Lastly, talking about traction. And the LeBron 17, we're calling this the wire fence traction pattern. Why are we calling it wire fence traction pattern? Because it looks like a wire fence. All right. Then. Okay. There it is. Fair questions. This is great if we can get on that one. Yeah, man. How did it perform? It did its thing. Yeah. It did its thing. I mean, we already talked about nines across the board so far. This is a great shoe. Yeah. The traction was also great. It, it was, was good. good. It, it was really, really good. good. It wasn't anything to blow me away personally. Yeah. I've had some incredible tractions under my foot in time. Yeah. This was not one of them. It wasn't. It was just a really, really good one. Yeah. My biggest gripe with this traction is it is not going outdoors. No. Yeah, especially not translucent. Yours is not going out. Uh, no. Never. No. Those you You'll, you'll be all right. You'll be okay. You can hoop. You can hoop. You can hoop for about three games because there's not much here. Yeah. It's pretty flat, but it performs incredibly well on a wooden indoor floor. Of course it would, especially a clean court because they always do. But if we're talking outdoors, it's not going to last too, too long. So it loses a little something there. Yeah. So if I've got to give it a score, it's an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. Still above average. Yeah. Because it did its job very well. But if I can't take you outdoors too long, gonna lose a couple points there. That's all it is. That's all it is. So there we have it. Looking at all the scores of the LeBron 17, it's an 8.8 .8 out of 10. That is crazy, bro. 17 shoes. Bro. And it's 8.8. .8. Yeah. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing there. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I get, I see it. LeBron, LeBron 17, no slowing down. We said it already. Yep. The shoe is refusing to slow down. 8.8. 8.89s 8. across the board, except for traction. Yep. Mad thing. Really is. Mad thing. It's mad. It really is. And what I love about the shoe the most is that I always complain that I feel like Nike doesn't put their best technology into their sneakers, but this one they've definitely done so. Yeah. And it's only great greatness from there, really. Greatness from there. Strive for so, greatness, he says it himself. Say that's no it. Say no more. So that is it from us. Big shout out to the plug, AKA Pro Direct Basketball. If you like your pair of the LeBron 17s, check out our description box below. Click the link to their website and they'll take care of you. As, as per usual, as they, they're, they're pretty good at that. Yep. They're pretty good at that. But 
Before you do that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video, show your support to your boys. Comment down below if you'll be copping the LeBron 17, which, in my opinion, I will recommend. Yeah. Because this shoe is bloody fantastic. Big men or gods. Wh whichever it is, I'd recommend copping this shoe. And when you're done with that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. It's performance review season right now. The NBA season is back. We've got a lot of work to do. So we've got we a lot more videos coming. I promise you hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it is going to be the best thing you did all week. I yeah. promise you that. I, I promise you that. Yeah. Run off. Run that. Run that. So, all right, guys. That's everything from us. This is the Nike LeBron 17. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get it. it.